We are talking about exponential growth and decay functions, and we want to be able to graph exponential functions. So here we have sketch the graph of each function. So we have y equals 5 times 1 half raised to the x power plus 1. So in our formula, we have our a value is 5, our b value is 1 half, so we know that it's going to be exponential decay. There is no h value, so we're not going to shift left or right. And the k value is plus one, so we know that the we know that the um, horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals one. So we know that k is equal to one. So our asymptote is uh, y equals one. So we can graph that, y equals 1, which would be right down here. Normally, in our parent function, our asymptote is 0, so this one shifted up 1. So this is going to be y equals 1. And then from there, we just want to pick some points that are going to help us identify what the graph is doing. And so a good one to pick always to start with is zero make the exponent zero in this case there's nothing added to it so if we substitute in zero then we get five times one half raised to the zero power plus one so one half to the zero power is one five times one is five So then we get that's equal to 6. So we get the ordered pair 0, 6. So 0, 6 is right there. And then the next one we get is uh, we can pick 1. So substitute 1 in, we get 5 times 1 half raised to the first power plus 1. So we're going to substitute 1 in for the x. And 1 half to the 1 is just 1 half. So then we get 5 over 2 plus 1. And that is going to be equal to 7 over 2. So we get the ordered pair. 1, comma, 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So 1 and 3.5 is right there. And the next one that I want to do is I want to do 1 to the left. So I'm going to pick negative 1. So I'm going to substitute in negative 1 and use the negative exponent rule. That will help me see what's going on there. So again, it's 5 to the 1 half. Then we're going to say plus 1. But we're substituting in negative 1 half. Or excuse me, negative 1. So... 1 half to the negative 1, the negative exponent says we get to flip that fraction. So we get 5 over 2 plus 1. And we know that that is going to be equal to 11. So 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. And then we know that we get the ordered pair, uh, negative 1, 11. So I can graph that, negative 1, 11. So we have those three points. And from 6 to 11, that's 5. And from, from uh, 3.5 to 6 is 2.5. So this is getting doubled every time. So 2.5, 5, and then the next one's going to be 10. 
which will take it just off our graph here. So that would be a point up there. And if we cut this one in half, so this one goes down 2.5 and then we're going to go down half again. So it was seven halves, so it's going to be seven fourths, which is right around there. And then we can sketch our graph that goes through those points. And then we're going to get close to, but not touch, our asymptote.